We have big news coming from the United States Supreme Court on the Prop 8 case, plus major advances in some of the other challenges to state and federal bans on the freedom to marry. We've got the latest tally on surveys showing a majority of Americans favor marriage equality. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for September 25, 2012. Major Prop 8 news today. The Supreme Court of the United States has released a list of some of the cases it will take in its upcoming term, and Afer's case is not on the list. This doesn't mean that the court is passing on the case, at least not yet. It either means that they're going to officially decline to hear it next week, or they're holding off on making a decision until later in their term. If they decide to pass on the case, then our previous victories would stand, and marriages could resume in California. If they do eventually decide to take the case, AFER will defend our victories in court with briefs and oral argument by April 2013. In that case, we'll expect a final decision by the end of June. No matter what happens, AFER is ready. Subscribe here on YouTube and visit AFER.org to sign up for breaking Prop 8 news alerts. And while the Supreme Court deliberates, our work for marriage equality continues to move forward. We now show 16 national surveys indicating a majority of Americans support the freedom to marry. The shift in public opinion over the last three years coincides with increased public awareness of the issues that gay and lesbian couples face. In other national news, one of the lawsuits challenging the Federal Defense of Marriage Act will advance on Thursday of this week. An appeals court in New York is scheduled to hear oral arguments in the case Windsor v. United States. And a federal case challenging Hawaii's ban on marriage equality is on course to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Earlier this year, a federal district court ruled that the ban could be legally justified. Plaintiffs and Governor Neil Abercrombie have appealed that decision, which will now be heard by the same court that found Prop 8 to be unconstitutional. Remember to subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org for breaking news alerts. We could be getting word on the Prop 8 case from the Supreme Court any day now. And as soon as that happens, we'll let you know what it means and how it affects you. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.